Hey guys, uh, Miles from Rexus Core here. Um, so, it's been a while. Uh, I've been listening to you guys, you know, reading the comments. I've, I've really been paying attention to what the fans want. At, at least from me, you know? Um, and, and my lack of victories on the channel may not be something I can, you know, just, like choose to change like yeah i can i can work on getting better i can take input from other people i can you know try and like better optimize my decks but that that's not that's not the point that's not the point i i want i've been listening to what you know you guys want you know like you know where where where's the gear chronicle deck profile with heritage um where's the drag where's the uh drag fall um deck profile with luard um you know yeah those mainly so um I, I finally, <laughs> I decided to, uh, you know, get some shit done and make you guys happy, so here's another Buddy Fight deck profile. Um, this one's Super Sun, or uh, the Sun Dragon build, um, the Ball Soleil centric, so, you know, the good one. So the Buddy is Style of Impact Ball Dragon, um, I just love Ball, he's like, if you've listened to any of our videos where I talk about Triple D, which by the way is the best season, uh, aside from Ace, um, I love Ball. Just, like, everything about his character and, like, the, uh, the, uh, Jump Up Buddy Coon segment, um, which Bushroad should really get on their shit and bring it back. Uh, th that was fantastic. And just seeing Ball be, like, just such an enigma with his fucking chest hole. Um, I adored him. Uh, so, you know, Dragon World Flag. Um, we'll leave these here. Cover Luard's face, because, you know... Kind of forgot about Luard. Uh, all right, so this is a um, this centers around an impact monster finish, and that impact monster is um, Ball Soleil, the end of Ball Break. Um, it's a size three monster, 10k, 10k, three crit. Uh, so it's a, its call cost is you have to put it on top of a Ball Soleil or Ball Dragon um, and pay three gauge. You know how like in the anime they's like, oh yeah, evolve, evolve. That's literally what they're doing. It's just oh I've got my you know ball dragon i get to evolve it um so uh if you have an item with a release condition equipped this card's attack can't be nullified and that doesn't mean if it's attacking alone if you're link attacking then that can't be nullified at all like if this card is involved in the attack the attack cannot be nullified um then when it link attacks with a sun dragon item you burn your opponent five damage and it cannot be reduced so the general combo is you use your... Ah, oh, almost got it. You have your item right here, which we'll go into later, but, you know, two crit. It's got release condition. So you link attack with these two for five damage and then burn them for five and the attack can be nullified. So it's effectively an OTK. Um, I've seldom won just by dealing... Like, I've seldom won from dealing, you know, that 10 collective damage because... You attack, you know, you attack before that. So oftentimes you're not actually going to kill them by dealing them 10 damage. You're going to kill them because on your turn, you're going to knock them down to like six or something. And then you're going to kill them solely because of the burn, ability. like four or five, sorry. And you're going to kill them solely because of the burn ability of ball break. So, um, and I only run two because there are several ways of searching through your deck and there's an amazing draw engine. So moving on to the regular monsters, we run th four, fuck, four Super Sun Deity Dragon Ball Soleil Dios. Um, I only run it for the JoJo reference. No, um, it's a size three, eight, three, eight, um, and it's three worlds. It's Star Dragon Dragon and Darkness Dragon World. If you guys haven't seen Triple D, one, watch it, and two, um, that's kind of like, like Ball Soleil. Is. He, he's, the, he's the big boy of the season, um, the man, the myth, the, the legend. Um, also, the attributes matter. He's Sun Dragon, Neo Dragon, and Black Dragon. We'll go into that later. Um, so its call cost is put a card from your... F put up to one card from your field. No. Put one or more. Sorry, I can't read. Put one or more monsters from your field into this card's soul and pay three gate. So you cannot call it if you have no field, which is why this deck kind of gets screwed over by God Punks. Um, but, you know, this day and age, what decks don't get screwed over by God Punks? Because um, if you just wipe your field and this is the only card in your hand and you have no other monster, you're just like, well guess i'm fucked um so what it does is at the beginning of each player's attack phase you can either destroy or return all monsters in your opponent's center so you either blow up their center 
or you bounce their center. Um, both, regardless of what you choose, if the card has Soul Guard, then they can use Soul Guard. But if one card is like, this card cannot be destroyed, then you just pick Bounce, and they still have to Soul Guard for it. Or, like, they do lose it. Um, so, oh, and also, really good card against Astro Dragons, because they have to have that center. And if they don't have that center, um, they can't do anything. They completely lose, like, all of their, uh, you know all of their momentum, all their combo capabilities, and they're just sitting there whiffing everything for a turn. Um, then it's other skill I love. It's uh, all damage you take is reduced by two, and the abilities of all cards on your field cannot be nullified by card effects. Um, it also has double attack and, the, and soul guard. So if your opponent is just like poking at you with like a two crit monster or using like any, literally any ability to burn you damage... If it's over two, unless it's over two, it gets nullified to it. Just get you're you're not taking anything. Um, so this that's just like just having this guy sit on your field just for that part is so good. I this card doesn't it doesn't matter like the bounce and the bounce and pop ability. Those do not matter as much as this last skill. Like that's just too good it's so defensive and that's why you don't really need to worry about um running too many nullifiers despite the fact that dragon world has access to uh a lot and then um i'm running one <laughs> deity the sun ball Soleil. i just want to say i'm only running this card for one reason one reason only it's a bcs 2017 card and like i don't know well i guess multiple reasons but it's like you know the aesthetic value of it um uh it's it's not necessarily like a great card. It's pay two gauge and put it on top of a monster, uh, or no, put a monster from your field in this card's soul, and then when it enters, you either destroy a card on your a monster on your opponent's center, or this card gains an additional two crit. So like I guess for a push, it can kind of like, you know, it, it, I guess it can kind of help. You're dealing, you know, for for each attack, you're dealing one more than Dio steals. But um, it's it's literally just that it's a BCS card, and I could fit it in the deck. You don't need to run it. You can switch it out with something else, but. Haven't really had a need for that. So, you know, he's just there. Um, then, uh, I'm just going to get these off screen. Then I run four, or for the grade two, sides twos, I run four Style of Impact Ball Dragon. Uh, also my buddy. Um, it's cast, it's call cost is pay one life. So if you buddy call it, you know, you just break even. It's a free call. Um, but it's ability. Uh, so this is why I only run, um, this is part of why I only, like, okay, okay. This deck has a lot of combo pieces that are necessary for it. Um, and, uh, like, it's not just the impact monster and the item. For the item, you need to have Ball Soleil. For Ball Soleil, you need to have the gauge. Um, you know, and for Ball Break, you need to have the Ball Soleil. So there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. This card helps you with, like, 50% of that, or 75. Um, what it does is, its ability, Ball Dragon Force, uh, when it enters the field, you pick one of the following two uh, one of the following two abilities of this card the first one is you get to charge three the other one is you add a sun dragon item from your deck to your hand and then shuffle um you can only use one of them you can only use either of them once per turn so you cannot use both and like on separate cards you can't like call two and then like do okay i'll charge three for one and then grab the item for the other it's one or the other um not a big deal though uh the deck has enough like gauge uh, as is. So then I run four Sun Deity, F Sun Deity's Fragment Ball Dragon. Um, this card's this card is what helps you get the rest of the combo pieces. Uh, first off, when it enters, you may pay a life, and if you do, you add a Ball Soleil from your deck to your hand. So that can be either the size three, like Ball Soleil Dios, which is kind of like it's not you know well yeah you kind of do need it for your combo pieces, um, or uh, it can be the impact it's the impact monster itself that's why I only run two like there are a lot of decks that only run one of it um, because you can easily search it out I like two because I like to you know draw into it or if it's stuck in the gauge then it is kind of tough to get it back um, and then also its other ability is um when it's in the soul hang on the camera got like I don't know what happened there uh, when it's in the soul of a uh, sun dragon that card gains penetrate so um, you know if you like if you evolve a, a ball, you know, if you evolve this into ball break, it gains penetrate. If you add it to the soul of either of your ball soul uh, size threes, those gain penetrate. Um, and it also, you know, helps to fuel for the soul. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. It's going to be in the soul regardless. Uh, then I run two Sun Deities Fragment Ball Flam. So um, what this is, is 
If you have an originally sized three Sun Dragon on your field, this the size of this card is reduced to uh, by two. So if you have Ball Soleil on the field, then this just becomes a size zero. And the reason why I run it is for its second skill. Um, all Sun Dragon monsters on your field cannot be destroyed nor returned to the hand by card effects. So Ball so, uh, uh your your um Ball Break, your impact monster, it can be bounced. So the fact that if this card is on the field, um, then you basically guarantee that your opponent cannot um like you you basically just check all of your opponent's options of getting out of that combo um so it just helps to like you know ensure victory then the size ones i run four loyal dragon flare fang dragon um similar to ball flam if you have an originally size three sun dragon on the field this card gets reduced to size zero so both of them are like size zeros um, then its other ability is when a size two or greater sun dragon monster enters your field you get to charge and draw only once per not once per turn, once per main phase and once per uh, final phase. So if I have this on the field and I call my Ball Soleil Dios, I get to charge and draw. Then the following final phase, when I evolve into Ball Break, I get to charge and draw again. Um, so that's two extra gauge you get, and or that's like, you know, one extra gauge and one extra hand card. Um, and then its other ability, all right, yeah, thinking about a different card, sorry. So, um, you know, nice resource, uh, it's free, you know, it's just a nice card to have on the side. Um, and you want to make sure that you have, like, free monsters to call to uh, fuel the call cost for your Ball Soleil. Uh, then I run two of the original Flare Fang Dragon. Um, Flare Gift, when it enters the field, if you have another Sun Dragon on your field, you add the top card to your deck to gauge and draw. Only once per turn, though. So, like, what you can do is, you know, you call the Like, okay, you have, um, you know, you've got... Like, okay, depending on, like, the setup you have and if you really want to, like, you know like burn through if you want to like extend as far as you can um you could like call a uh, flare fang dragon then call a uh, ball dragon you get the charge and draw off of that then you call flare fang dragon and because you meet the second criteria you get to charge and draw again so it's two charge and draws uh during your main phase and gauge is super important because if you want to impact call the same turn that you call ball soleil dios you need six gauge uh, no, you don't need any more than that, but you do need six gauge. It's absolutely necessary. And then um, one more card, uh, size zero. It's an Omni Lord, so you know it's a Legend World card. You can run it in any deck though. At one, um, it's this is Undying Wise King Count Dawn. Uh, at the beginning of each player's uh, at the beginning of each player's attack phase, if this card is in your drop zone, you can pay one life. If you do, call it from the drop zone. Um, then its other skill is when another monster on your field would be destroyed by your opponent's cards, you may put this card from the field into the drop zone. If you do, mo that monster remains on the field. This is to protect your Ball Soleil, because if you if you lose Ball Soleil, um, and you don't have a way to get it back, uh, or like, if you don't have a way to supplement that loss, you kind of lose the game. Um, so... Like, you just remove it from the field, and it prevents the, 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 the destruction. It's similar to, um, what were they, uh, like, emerald, emerald spikes in, um, you know, Prism Dragons, which, I don't know if any of you guys actually ran that card, but uh, I ran it when I was first starting out, and that came clutch a little bit. Then, um, we get to the items, uh, that would be four... Uh, Dragon Force Style of Super Sun. So it doesn't have an equip cost. It has a release condition, as all um, Dragon Forces do. Uh, and release condition is literally, it's just effectively an equip cost, but it's a criteria you have to meet instead of a cost you have to pay. Um, and its condition is if you have a size 3 monster with Ball Soleil and its card name on the field. You can just, that's it. You just plop it down and you have it. Um, so. It's super helpful for the uh, for the impact. Uh, it also combos with the impact. Um, its first skill is this card on the field cannot be destroyed or returned to the hand, uh, and its abilities cannot be nullified. That's pretty great. Um, you don't want your abilities getting nullified in this deck. The other ability is at the beginning of your final phase, you get to stand this card, and it can attack during the final phase. So it already has double attacks. So you're like, okay, two, four, okay. Final phase, restand, six. So that's six damage solely off of this card. Um, and then after you restand it, uh, you may call an impact monster from your hand or drops in by paying the call cost. So if you don't have ball, if you don't have ball break in hand, uh, and you're like, damn, I really wish I had one. I could win right now, but it's in your drop zone. You can call it from the drop zone provided you can pay the gauge. Um, so 
great card, uh, super helpful for the deck and its combos. Uh, and again, you can search it right out with um, ball uh, style of impact ball dragon. Then on to spells, are in four Sun Deities, buddy. I keep forgetting to move this pile away. Yeah. Sun Deities, buddy is like a bots link. Uh, that's not right to say. Um, you may only cast it if you have a Sun Dragon on our field. First, you charge two off the top of your deck. Then, if you have a monster with Ball Soleil in its card in your field, you heal two and you get to draw one. You can only use it once per turn. So, really good for getting all of your resources. Um, like, this card is what's going to help you. This card, if you just have one of these and a Flare Fang, um, that's how you're going to uh, get your six gauge for the OTK. Um, and again, the OTK, not entirely necessary to pull off. Um, just getting as close as you can to pulling it off uh, is, you know, what you want to do. Um, then here's your fantastic draw engine, Warlord Sword Released. Uh, its cast cost is pay one gauge and two life. No big deal, because, you know, Sun Deity's buddy supplements and gives you more. Like, it makes up for it, and then some. Um, you draw, when you cast it, draw cards off the top of your deck, obviously, um, equal to the number of different world names of cards on your field. So if you have a Ball Soleil, or, oh, also, I forgot to mention, this is three different worlds as well. So if you have your item equipped, or you have a Ball Soleil on the field, you get to draw three. So that's just, that is three cards right there. It's such a good resource management. It's, it's, it's it gains such, not resource management, it, it just, it's a, such a good plus. Um, I guess I'm pumping this. Then I run three into the future. Uh, this card can be used as defense and offense. Um, typically, if I don't have my uh, ball break, I'll use it for my offense. Um, and if I'm trying to defend Ball Soleil with like a last ditch effort, you know, that's how I use it for defense. Uh, it's ca its cost is um, you add a, you take a soul out of your armor dragon or neo dragon from your field and add it to the drop zone. So Ball Soleil is both an armor dragon and a neo dragon. Um, that's why that's kind of important. So you just remove the soul from Ball Soleil. Uh, counter, first you draw a card, and then you pick one of the following three abilities. Either for this turn, a card on your field gains a crit. That could be your item, too. Um, or you get to stand a card on your field, or rest a card in your opponent's field. So you can use it defensively or offensively. Um, I like it at three. I just don't think that, like... Like, Ball Soleil only ever has, like, one soul, unless you really, you know, like, you fill it up. And then even then, it's got, like, two soul off of its, um, call cost. Uh, but you're just not going to have that, ma that many soul. Um, so just keeping it three, it feels like less excessive. Um, or, you know, it doesn't feel excessive. Uh, then I run four um, Super Sun Dragon Shield. This is like the shield for this deck. Um, so you can only cast it if you have an open center on your opponent's turn. Um, counter nullify the attack. But then, if you have a Sun Dragon on your field, you get to draw. If you have a Neo Dragon on your field, you get to charge one. And if you have a Black Dragon on your field, you get to heal one life. Um, your Ball Soleil is all three. The item is actually not all three. The item is a Sun Dragon, a Star, and a Black Dragon. Um, so you do not get the charge criteria. But, like, you get a charge, draw, and heal off of nullifying your opponent's attacks. And oftentimes... Like, your ideal setup never has a center, but oftentimes your opponent's going to keep trying to swing a ball slowly because they want to shut down your combos, and you're like, okay, thanks for the plus, thanks for the plus, thanks for the plus, thanks for the plus. It's just... <laughs> it's just a fantastic um, shield. It's great. And then I run four Loud Voice. Um, this is the other, like... This card's fantastic. Um, I just want to say, uh, this card, I believe, was limited to, like, one, but only in Thunder Empire. So in every other deck that you can run it in, you can run it at the four... At a full four of. First off, its cast cost is discard one or more cards from your hand. Um, then its counter ability is, for this turn, all cards on your opponent's field get minus 3,000 power, 3,000 defense, and minus one critical for each card discarded for the cost. So you can discard, like, two cards, and it's a minus 662. Um, super helpful. Uh, if your opponent is somehow swinging for, like, a really large crit number, the damage is being, and you have ball slay on the field, the damage is going to be reduced by two already. Let's say they're swinging for five crit, right? The damage is going to be reduced by two already. You discard one or two of these, and you're taking less than three damage. Like, it's so helpful. Also, in case some of you guys know about this, you know, Electro Deities, this card can be used to counter Amaterasu's power boost. So, 
really helpful on the offensive. Um, then I run this card, uh, Red Thunder Emperor's Awakening, just a three of. Um, I don't like to see it very often. Uh, so first off, when you cast it, you get to charge and heal one. So just a nice little resource, but you use it for its other skill, um, mainly. Uh, if you have three or more different world names of cards in your drop zone, add one card from your drop back to your hand. And if you have six or more, you get to draw. Um, you will never have six or more, because this is initially like, you know, a Thunder Empire card. But um, if you have Ball Soleil or your item uh, in your field, uh, in your drop zone, you can add any card you want back. So let's say like you lo you do lose your Ball Soleil and you're like, oh fuck, what do I do? And you don't draw into another one. Um, you just cast this card and you get it right back and you can just call it back to the field provided you have the gauge so um you know it's really good for just like correcting uh, a messed up field or um sometimes if i even if i have like the ideal field but i want to extend all uh i'll grab like a warlord sword release back from my drop or i'll grab a sunday buddy back from my drop and i'll just cast it again and then gain more resources so it's just a it's it's useful for getting your ball so lay back um, or any other combo pieces you may need, and it's also useful for extending um, your like resource uh, gain. Then I run three Ball Shine Buster. Um, people are kind of shocked that I main decked this, but I just didn't really see any other like options. Like I found a deck list running a uh, like I don't know like it's Dragon Barrier or something. It's like your left and right for the turn can't be um, affected or like cannot be destroyed or bounced or something like that. But it's two gauge, and I don't think I really care to use that, especially when I have a ball flam on the field. Um, what it is is you pay one gauge and one life, uh, destroy a monster on your opponent's center. Then, if you have a monster with ball soleil, destroy a card in your opponent's field. So you get to destroy two cards, and the second one is a card. So you can destroy one of their set spells. You can destroy one of their items. Um, you you don't need to destroy a monster. Also. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that you can immediate if your opponent doesn't have a center and you cast this card, you can immediately go into the second skill. Um, I, I could be wrong on that, so uh, in the comments, like you know, let me know. Um, just that's what I've been told. Like you can ignore the first part because you know it's a, it's a you do as much of the skill as you can. Um, so I believe, yeah, that that was the deck. Um, so. Let me know how y'all liked it. Uh, give me input. This was like my first Dragon World deck I built, and I uh, wasn't really too sure. I, it's really just you focus on the OTK combo. But like, I went online, and a bunch of people were like, "There are like four or five different uh, Sun Dragon variations," and I'm like, "I was completely unaware." Um, but this one's like the the most viable. It's the best. Um, I don't know if it's still tier one because God Punks hit it pretty hard, but. It's really fun. You can end games so quickly with this deck. Uh, there will be some fights for this going up in a while, um, if you haven't already seen those. Uh, but that is my Sun Dragon deck profile. So it's been real, YouTube. I'm signing off.